Hi, healthy bakers. Let's make our healthy strawberry shortcake by mixing first our dry ingredients in a large bowl. We've got two cups of flour swap, one tablespoon of baking powder, one half cup of granular sugar swap, and one half teaspoon of fine sea salt. Combine this until no lumps remain. Next, we'll start by adding our wet ingredients. So I have one half cup of unsweetened plant milk. I'm using just organic almond milk. We've got one egg swap. Remember to mix your egg swap with very hot water. One half cup of butter stop swap. Now make sure your butter swap is at room temperature and very well stirred so it's nice and creamy. If you have trouble stirring your butter swap, just throw the whole container into a high speed blender, blend it on high for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and it'll be nice and smooth for a couple months. We've got two tablespoons of vanilla extract. And you can also change the flavor of these shortcakes if you want a little lemon extract or almond extract. All of that tastes delicious. Let's mix our wet and dry ingredients together. So we have a nice, smooth, thick batter. And this here is the grain-free flour swap. Grain-free is always gonna be a bit thicker, more crumbly, and that is okay. It's still gonna bake up great. Now I'm gonna get in here with clean hands and just knead my grain-free shortcake dough with my hands for just a minute so everything's well combined. And remember, this crumbly texture is totally fine. It's gonna make a great shortcake, very low carb very high fiber, need to improve your digestion, prevent overeating, promote healthy cholesterol levels, and really help the metabolism. Okay, we'll let our dough rest for about five minutes while this fiber absorbs the rest of the moisture, and then we'll make our shortcakes. And here's our gluten-free whole grain shortcake batter. You can see it is thick, but not as thick as the grain free. It holds together well. And this has already been sitting for about five minutes after I mix the wet and dry ingredients. And the texture does change quite a bit after that five minute resting period. So we're ready to scoop our shortcakes on our parchment lined baking tray and bake. I'm gonna get in here with my large cookie scoop, which I absolutely love for muffins, scones, even ice cream scooping. It's gonna make it so much easier to get nice even portions. We're gonna use, this is gonna make about eight shortcakes. So space them out well on the baking tray. They'll puff up quite a bit as they bake. I've got my oven heated up to 400 degrees and I'm gonna bake them for about 18 to 20 minutes until the bottoms start to turn golden. Okay, we've got our eight Shortcakes, we're gonna throw it in the oven, 400 for about 18 to 20 minutes. Now for my grain-free dough, I'm gonna use my cookie scoop, but I'm gonna shape them a little bit better than the whole grain. And I'm just gonna almost pretend like I'm making little biscuits. So they're gonna be around, maybe a little less than an inch thick, something like this. We've got our eight grain-free little shortcakes made, and these are gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna reduce the oven temperature to 325 and bake for an additional 10 to 15 minutes. Now, while my shortcakes are baking, I sliced about two pounds of fresh organic strawberries. And I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of granular sugar swap. And I'll mix it well. And then I'm just gonna let them marinate in the sugar and their own juices until we're ready to top our shortcakes. Perfect, so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator until it's time to serve. And you can stir it a few times while it's in the fridge. We'll make our quick and easy coconut whipped cream. I've got organic coconut cream. I use the Sprouts brand. This has been chilled overnight. So the white fatty portion on the top is all we're gonna use. So scoop that off. It should be very easy to scoop off if it's been properly chilled. I found that even just a couple hours in the refrigerator doesn't chill it enough to make separation super easy. Okay, so I'm not gonna discard the coconut water. I'm gonna use that for my morning smoothie. I'm gonna add one pinch of some fine sea salt, about a fourth of a teaspoon of some fresh vanilla bean paste. And you can use just a dash of 
regular vanilla extract if you don't have any paste, but I love this speckled vanilla bean in the whipped cream. It's so pretty. Finally, one third of a cup of powdered sugar swap. Got my hand mixer. I'll start it on low and then gently um, increase the speed until we've got stiff peaks. Okay, we've got our dairy-free, sugar-free, vanilla bean speckled whipped cream to top our strawberry shortcakes. I'm gonna store this in the refrigerator until we're ready to assemble our shortcake. Once your shortcakes are done, make sure you cool them on a rack. We've got our whole grain over here. Remember these have whole psyllium husk, oat groats, buckwheat groats. They did puff and expand quite a bit more in the oven. Yum. Perfect bed for our strawberries and our cream. Here we've got our paleo keto version of our shortcakes. And these are whole psyllium husk, almond flour, coconut flour. These are gonna be very low carb. They still have a really nice interior crumb. So good. Okay, we're gonna assemble our final strawberry shortcake. Slice your cooled shortcakes right in half. We'll top with some fresh marinated strawberries, a nice big dollop of whipped cream. 